Hey guys, all right, it is time for a thrift haul. See if we find anything that's gonna make any money or, you know, it's Sunday, we're chilling out watching the latest, not episode, but <laughs> the latest video from Commonwealth. Um, all right, pick this one up. I just thought it was cute. It was a dollar. Just a little tile, frame tile. But I think somebody will like it. Plus, only a dollar. Got the Butterbeer mug. These aren't worth a whole lot, but it was 50 cents. So it's definitely worth picking up. Five Nights at Freddy's Bear. He was $1.98. This little cute Hasbro toy, it looks so familiar to me, but I'm not sure what it was, but it was 50 cents, so grab that. All right, this looks like it's brand new in the package, but I'm not sure. So, but it's taped. I'll have to get all that tape off. It was 99 cents. Should be like $8 or so. Vintage Halloween napkins. These were 99 cents. I do have a rip in the package. But I think mostly people get these to like craft with. So. Grab these two mugs. Now. You can find a set of four of them. But. They only had the two, and this one's the P-17G Flying Fortress, and this one's the P-40E Warhawk, and it tells things about the planes on the other side. These are by M-Ware, and they were 99 cents a piece. I did see somebody had a set of four listed for, it was like $50 or $75. There were no solds, but for $2, I was going to pick them up. Hot Cocoa and Chill, nice oversized mug world market this one was 99 cents it's nice and embossed so you know twelve dollars maybe fell in love with this this hadn't even made it onto the shelves and I was like ooh and it hadn't been priced I was like how much and they only charged a dollar it is from Japan so so cute it's a little bank it does not i think it's a bank wait yeah it's a bank that's a slot right there it does not have its stopper but that's no big deal and honestly i may not be able to get rid of this anyway because it's too cute this i thought was interesting it's a little tray it was a dollar and on the back it has where you can like mail it so uh, I just thought that was interesting I always I guess this is so dorky but I love like filters and vacuum bags because they're easy to list sometimes they're worth really good money and you usually find them really cheap so this was a dollar forty eight and this is Auric, little Auric bags. So, they're brand new. So, we'll see if those do any good. I think this was like a quarter Nutcracker stickers. There's only one listed online. I just grabbed it and then looked it up later. And somebody has one listed for like $25, which is insane. <laughs> so... You know, I don't know what I'll list this one as. This is Ir Irvin Wear USA. I think it's a little napkin holder. It was 75 cents. This is Melmac um, Kexco, Kexro. 
Anytime I see these little plates, I grab them and then I can load them up. 49 cents. This I grabbed for organizational purposes. I love anything that's organization. And this one was 99 cents. It's originally been, I think, for like bills and stuff. We get pretty much all our bills, you know, digitally now. But I think I can figure out something. Like, I want to start listing postcard and ephemera and things like that. So maybe separate them in that. I don't know. I think hats were a dollar here. This is Hawaiian headwear. I just really like the Volkswagen um, van on there. It says Hawaii foam trucker hat. So who knows, but I took a chance. This place has a quarters or quarters. <laughs> Toys are 25 cents or five for a dollar. So I grabbed some toys. I grabbed this one. This one is I don't know what this one is. But it looks like it'd be part of like LOL surprise dolls or you know the bigger ones. Or something like that. And then we had a couple Thomas the Train. So I'll always grab these. And then the other one what we got was one of the little California raisins. Always grab these. There's you know, these aren't really worth much. So I just grab them and lot them up, but some of them are worth a lot of money. I could not resist this little pig. It's a little, I mean, it's made to look like a bank. You would have to um, bust it open, but love the paint on there. It is made in Mexico. So cute. It looks like you could hang it as an ornament. It's $2. I think at least 15. Look, Mexican pottery stuff does really well. Then for $3, picked up, may the world always be beautiful for you as you make it for others. And this is signed, it's from 1998, 3,256 of 5,000. Let's buy this Bergisma Dream Keepers. So. And if it doesn't sell, it's, it's really cute. It has chickadees on it, my favorite bird. So. I think that's the key to buying art is buy something that you're gonna like in case it doesn't sell. <laughs> A set of four of these two, 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 fifth Ashbury plates. They were all in really good condition and dollar forty eight each. So I didn't think that was bad. And we will end with a little bit of clothing. Got this living doll, Los Angeles tunic tank top. Got an asymmetrical hemline. This I actually think I grabbed for myself, so, but I'll show you anyway. Um, just a little striped three quarter length sleeve shirt. This is by just my size. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got, yeah, I got that for myself. <laughs> These shorts I would keep if they fit. They have that 1950s vibe going on. They're by Sophia Jeans. I don't know if that's worth anything. I go more by style than brands. But those are for sale. 
This shirt just screamed 1990s. Got the faux vest front. It's got buttons. These little star buttons. So I think it'll do okay. And it was like two dollars. Shorts were $2, the tops were $2. And this one is Torrid. It's really long. Sheer. You have to clip that string off. But it's got this bow print on it. Torrid stuff can usually do pretty good. You know, bread and butter top thing so that's this video um i'm gonna be back in a couple of days with some more videos some jewelry boxes jewelry, bleh, jewelry unboxings and yeah so stay tuned be sure to like comment share subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a video and i'll see you next time bye